Hello and welcome back to a Let's Play of Alpha Protocol. I just got done with uh, one semi-decent mission that I was able to... I was actually able to do stealthily, even though I pretty much ran into a guard. But then I hid, and then turned visible, and then punched him in the throat. So, I like that one. It was short, it was sweet, it was right to the point. I wasn't really long with non-optional combat scenarios. Alrighty. And now we are doing a mission. Uh, identify Gibral Albera Albara at Chateau. Get a positive visual ID in, on Albara. Intel suggests an ally of Shahid Jabral Albara is hosting a fundraising banquet at a chateau in the Italian countryside. Infiltrating the estate shouldn't be difficult, but once there, you need to scan the guests one by one to identify, identify, identify Albara. While you will be equipped with a sniper rifle, you should only need it if you encounter resistance. The rifle is equipped with a digital scope, but you can upload images of targets to your handler and check for a match. Once you've identified Albara, leave the premises to, or deal with him as you see fit. You acquired an update to your essay on Jabral Albara, your, tar your target for this mission. The informant hasn't provided you with a database of Al-Samad identities. This will offer faster identification of suspects. It'll do, pig. That'll do. You in place? Yep. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. I'm oh, glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. We don't know who Albar is meeting, so taking anyone Pressing else left trigger. have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. Not you, is it? Owns a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Roman artist. Made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. A nobody. Looks like the guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. Position. All right, let's begin. Ah, ah, that's fast. Wait, security guard. He's clean. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you horn dog, you. Dutch flower baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade. But that's all I've got. Nothing really incriminating. Private security. Ex special forces. Not our man. But definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for you? No. I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. Compared to you, he's small time. What? We can catch the news later. Provided we don't make it. Is 
Spanish celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Might be very... Careful, I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a time. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. That's Albara. That's him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And... You mean, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from. Or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of al Samar, right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out or we can abort. It's up to you. I'm aborting the mission. All right, Mike. Just in case. Still didn't get any money! Ah. Oh. Every mission here. What's that one beeping noise? A bust. Important message. Important email message arrived. Check the computer for details. I can do that. Touching base. Hey, Mike. Please tell me you've run across something in your travels that's remotely interesting. This Taipei story is slower than I thought, and the boredom's almost killing me. If you come across anything, let me know. I hate to think I wasted. It clever conversation on a source that can't deliver. <laughs> Shut up. For someone who's supposed to be a thrill seeker, you sure seem to spend a lot of time bored instead of going out and finding something interesting to do. Unless that's why you're writing to me in the first place, in which case, I'm going to need a little more incentive to write back. Mike. Of course I do. Wait. Mike, just a heads up, someone who's been running a lot of web searches with keywords Mike Thornton and, and Michael Thornton in the, in the Milan area. Whoever is doing it through... Wait, whoever is doing it did it through a Halbeck Milan office computer. Though they used a public terminal so I can't trace it back to a particular end user. I'll let you know if I find out more. Mr. Thornton. If you stalk a man with political and criminal connections, kill him before he uses his contacts to track you down. I know that you were lurking outside the chateau, but I don't know why. Consider my interest piqued. I refuse to let you intimidate me. Let's meet face to face. See if you have the guts to kill me in broad daylight. Meet me at Cafe Triofono. Trionfo. Gibraltar. 
Professor Albara, if you want to meet me, so be it. I have questions about the events here in Rome, and I suspect you have some answers. Cafe Triumpho it is. M. Thornton. I need to upgrade these first. Thank you. All righty. information on Marburg. Pursuing this Ill intel will expand your dossier on Conrad Marburg, an elder statesman of the espionage world. It may prov provide... Whatever, I can't talk. A write up of Marburg. Uh, meet up with Jabar <sighs> Jabril Albara at a cafe in Rome and find out what he knows about Halbeck's presence in the city and how Al Samad may be involved. Maybe I can get some money from this one. Ugh, I'm tired. I start in the morning and I've done nothing. No sign of Albara yet. Maybe he stood you up. I don't know. Something feels wrong. Hmm. Well, stay alert. I'm starting to trust your instincts. <coughs> Sorry, that's... Switch easy. off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. Let me guess. This was your table. Don't make me repeat myself. Ah. Whoa. Perhaps you thought you could enter Rome under the radar. You almost did. But you broadcast your location. Eventually. I had to. You were my last lead. I'm here to find out what Halbeck is doing in Rome and their ties to al -Saman. And what led you to believe that Halbeck has any interests in Rome or al -Saman? Are you denying that either one is true? I do not believe you would have come here without evidence. But what makes you think that? You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. Is that Jim Cummings? You are Michael Thornton. You were involved in the field testing of several prototypes for the government. A tech specialist. I'm a spy, actually. But you can't expect me to put that in my file. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country. And who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. So, you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, toady, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I've read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. Yes. 
You, on the other wow. hand, have managed to enter Rome quietly. I didn't know you were here until an hour ago. You're skilled at keeping a low profile. No murders, no public announcement. Very impressive. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Once you'd ID'd him, well, his use to me was at an end. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I've found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. So am I. And I think we have room to negotiate. No. I am not authorized to make deals. Besides, I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. Those are your terms. Allow you to carry out your mission, and I stay out of the way. Yes. You realize I would be betraying my country. Yes, and that does not change my terms. I understand your feelings, and I encourage you to set them aside. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. Why should I negotiate with you? How long will it be before they have a new chief of security? New secrets? You're just getting set up like I was. You are ignorant. Halbeck is not the same hierarchy as your organization. Right. And the term loyalty is not used there lightly. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. Connection between Marburg, VCI, Halbeck, and Alsmott's present room is still unclear. Marburg threatened that any further investigation attempts would result in the deaths of Agent Thornton and anyone else allied with him. Upon returning to the safe house, Mina picked up the f phone trace from a VCI employee working with Marburg attempting to contact local authorities. I confess, you slipped into Rome almost without us noticing. You were even more difficult to track after that. Between Halbeck and local authorities, the locals were the tough ones. No matter. Mr. Marburg found you. That must have been a surprise, meeting up for lunch like that. When we talked, he had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? We discussed business. Turns out both of us have experience with abuse of authority. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which, this woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. 
<laughs> oh. oh, Mike, Mike, Mike. In the end, it was. No, it wasn't. <sighs> Mike, we may have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? Did you see her picture? No way am I missing out on that action. No! Nice. Okay, let me patch her through. I didn't know it was that kind of interested. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? Operative, actually. I'm sorry? Never mind. Miss St. James, you were trying to reach a Michael Thornton. You're talking to him. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I already am, but go ahead. I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She is a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? I have an apartment here in Rome. We could meet here if you'd like. It's a beautiful view. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. If they're watching me, that might lead them to you. Well, if it makes you feel better, send me an address and I'll meet up with you. I know a restaurant in the area. We should be able to talk without being interrupted. Sounds nice. It's not far. Fifteen minutes? Looking forward to it. Alright. Apparently, my reputation has nothing to do with her. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to end this part here. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment below, and subscribe, and I will see you later.